Have you ever felt like life is not going according to plan? Like everything is out of control and nothing makes sense. It's easy to become overwhelmed and discouraged when things don't go our way. But what if I told you that everything happens for a reason? That there is a divine timing to every aspect of your life. Trusting in God's timing means surrendering our desires, our goals, and our plans to Him. It means acknowledging He knows what's best for us, even when we can't see it. It's about having faith that His plan is perfect, even if it doesn't align with ours. Keep watching. You don't want to miss this important message that will change your life. In our limited perspective, we crave instant gratification and immediate results. We want success, love, and happiness now. But God's timing is not the same as ours. It's patient, deliberate, and purposeful. There are lessons to be learned, growth to be achieved, and blessings in disguise along the way. When we trust in God's timing, we let go of the pressure to control every aspect of our lives. We release the anxiety that comes from trying to force things to happen. Instead, we find peace in knowing that He is in control, that He sees the bigger picture, and that His timing will always be better than ours. So, if you're feeling stuck, frustrated, or lost, remember that there is a divine timing at play. Embrace it. Trust it. Allow God's perfect plan to unfold in your life. Let go of the need to rush or force things to happen. Surrender your plans and desires to Him, and watch as He works. Wonders in unexpected ways. Are you feeling impatient or unsure about where your life is going? It's important to believe in God's plan for you. We will talk about how letting go and trusting God is beneficial. We share stories of people who faced tough times, but found out that God's timing was better than theirs. These stories will motivate you to keep believing, as God's plans happen at the right time. We also give tips on connecting with God through prayer and thinking about His words. This can help you feel calm, knowing things will work out as He intends. Don't let worry or hurry to shake your faith. Come with us to learn and accept God's great plan for you. Stick around to see the amazing things that happen when you trust in His timing. People often want good things right away, but sometimes they take time. We get impatient and ask, when will it happen? We should learn to trust God more and worry less about the timing. If you're always thinking and worrying, you're not fully trusting. I used to be impatient and upset because I didn't know everything or had everything I wanted. But I learned to trust God, who knows everything. I realized that some questions might never be answered. We show our trust in God by not worrying. Hannah's story from the book of 1 Samuel 1-2 and 2-20. One is about a woman who couldn't have children for many years. In her society, not being able to have children was seen as a failure and brought shame to her and her husband. But Hannah didn't lose hope. She continued to pray deeply, sharing her pain and frustration with God. She waited a long time. Finally, when Hannah was older than the usual age for having children, she got pregnant. She kept her faith and hope alive, praying and worshiping with patience. Sometimes it feels like we're waiting a long time for the things we want. This can be annoying, but we should always remember that God is working for us, even if it doesn't seem like it. God's timing is perfect. He is never too early or too late. When the time is right, God will take care of our needs. He will also save and help us when the time is right. This story teaches us that even if God seems silent, He is always there. His plans happen at the right time, and He is always with us. Don't worry if things aren't going as planned. God isn't in a hurry because He has everything scheduled and always sticks to His plan. If things don't happen when you want them to, 
don't stress. God isn't worried, so you shouldn't be either. Stay calm, pray for peace and more faith, and don't let frustration take over. Trust that even if things seem different than you expected, everything will work out at the right time if you follow God's guidance. Remember, in the grand scheme of life, we're never really running out of time. If you're feeling stuck, keep in mind that your story isn't over yet. God's plans for you are always on time and perfect. Listen to this story about a man named Sam. Sam was kind and hardworking, but he had a big problem. He didn't have a job. He had been to 10 job interviews, but none of them worked out. Every time he got a no, his heart sank a little more, but Sam didn't give up. He knew that God's timing was perfect. Each morning, Sam would wake up with hope. He'd search for jobs online, in newspapers, and ask around in his town. Even though he was getting tired and a bit sad, he kept trying. He believed that if he kept looking, something good would happen. Sam also had a strong faith. He believed in asking God for help every night. Before going to bed, he'd pray. He'd ask for strength to keep going and for the right job to come along. His faith gave him the power not to give up, even when things looked really tough. One day, when Sam was walking through the town, he saw a new store opening. He thought, why not give it a try? So he walked in and asked if they were hiring. The owner, a friendly woman named Mrs. Johnson, smiled and said, yes, we are. Can you start tomorrow? Sam couldn't believe his ears. He was so happy and thankful. This job was not just any job. It was perfect for him. It was at a bookstore, and Sam loved books. He would be helping people find their favorite books, and he could read as many books as he wanted during breaks. On his first day, Sam worked really hard. He arranged books, helped customers, and learned a lot from Mrs. Johnson. She was kind and taught him everything about running a bookstore. Sam felt like he was exactly where he was meant to be. Months passed and Sam became really good at his job. He made the bookstore a special place for everyone who came in. He knew almost every book on the shelves and could suggest the perfect book for anyone. The customers loved him and Mrs. Johnson was very proud of him. One day, Mrs. Johnson called Sam into her office. She had a big smile on her face. Sam, she said, you've been amazing. I want you to be the manager of the bookstore. I know you'll be great at it. Sam was overjoyed. He couldn't believe how far he had come from being sad and jobless to being the manager of his favorite place in the world. He thought back to all the times. He felt like giving up, but didn't. He was grateful for his persistence and his faith. From then on, Sam managed the bookstore with love and care. He made sure everyone who came in left with a smile and a great book. He also never forgot the lessons he learned, never to give up. Trust God's timing to keep trying and have faith. And so, Sam's story reminds us all that even when things are tough, if we keep going, have faith, never lose hope, and know that God's timing is perfect, great things can happen. The waiting can be difficult in today's fast-paced world, but with God's help, you'll be able to endure. These are some of the reasons we should trust God's timing. Believing in God often means accepting that we don't know how or when He will do things. We usually say God is never late, but he's rarely early too. This waiting period helps increase our faith in him and helps us grow and change. As we face situations that require trust, we learn to depend on him more. Through repeated experiences of his reliability, we gradually shift our trust from ourselves to him. This shows that timing is key to building trust in God. If he responded to our requests instantly, we wouldn't develop as he wishes us to. If you're currently waiting for something and feeling impatient, 
try to see it as a chance to strengthen your trust in God. It's okay not to know everything. He's taking care of the details. Being patient is like spending time with Jesus. As patience is a gift from the Holy Spirit in Galatians 5.22, the more we connect with God, the more patient we become. He supports us while we wait. If we doubt God's timing or question His plans, we might feel worried and scared. I say this from experience. I felt both anxious and calm. Anxiety only makes things worse, adding stress on top of our problems and making them feel even heavier. However, God wants to help us trust Him and lighten our load. When things seem too hard for us, they're not too hard for Him. If you have doubts, use them to grow closer to God. Keep talking to Him about your feelings and trust that He will answer, even if the answer is no or not yet. Stay strong in your belief in God's promises and let your faith get stronger. Isaiah 46 10 says, Only I can tell you the future before it even happens. Everything I plan will come to pass. We don't know everything, but God does. He understands things in a way that's different from us. We should believe that if God loves us more, then we love ourselves. And if He's strong enough to put all the stars in the sky, then He is definitely arranging everything for our benefit, just as He promised. Let's pray together. Dear God, I come to you today with a heart full of trust, knowing that your timing is always perfect. In a world that moves so fast, where patience is often lost, I ask for the strength to wait for your perfect timing. Help me remember that you see the big picture of my life. The moments I am eager to rush, the paths I am anxious to take, remind me that you know what's best. You are the creator of time, and within your hands, Every second, minute, and hour is perfectly planned. Teach me to be patient, to not hurry through life, trying to force doors open that you have closed. Help me to understand that waiting is not wasted time, but rather a precious period where my faith can grow. In these moments of waiting, I know you are working behind the scenes, aligning everything for my good. Sometimes, I get anxious, wondering if and when my prayers will be answered. In these times, bring to my mind the, the countless instances in the past where your timing proved to be perfect. This recollection will be my strength, my anchor, as I learn to wait with a peaceful heart. Grant me the wisdom to know that your timing is not just about making things happen at the right moment, but also about preparing me for what is to come. While I wait, shape my character, mold my perspectives, and align my desires with yours. I ask for the patience not to rush ahead of your plans, knowing that what you have in store for me is worth every moment of the wait. Help me to rest in the assurance that you are in control and everything that happens is under your sovereign timing. Remind me that your schedule is different from mine. Your delays are not denials, but a loving act of preparing the best for me. May I learn to embrace the beauty of your timing, trusting that you make all things beautiful in your time. Lord, in my moments of impatience, speak to my heart. Let your voice be louder than my doubts, reassuring me that you are at work and your plans are unfolding as they should. Thank you for the patience you've shown me throughout my life. Your grace has been abundant, and your love unending. As I wait on your perfect timing, let my life be a testament to your faithfulness. In your perfect timing, I will see the fruits of what I have patiently waited for. And in this journey of waiting, I will grow closer to you, understanding more about your nature, your love, and your perfect plans for me. In Jesus' name, Amen. Thank you for watching this video. If this message has blessed you, please subscribe to our channel for more inspirational content. Write Amen in the comment section and like and share it with others to inspire them in the Lord. God loves you.
trust in God's timing and embrace his perfect plan.